President John Dramani Mahama has once again captured national attention with a transformative announcement that has the potential to reshape the educational and healthcare landscape of Northern Ghana. During a high-level meeting at the presidency in Accra, he revealed that Damongo, the capital of the Savannah region, will soon host two major developments, a Catholic science and technology university and a regional hospital that will double as a teaching facility. This revelation has sparked optimism and excitement, particularly among residents of the Northern regions. Before we dive deeper into today's update, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your support is key to helping us grow and reach more viewers like you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on exciting updates. Who have long yearned for projects that not only bring development, but also opportunities for the youth and the local economy. The announcement came during a courtesy visit by Most Reverend Philip Name, the Catholic Metropolitan Archbishop of Tamale, who led a delegation to engage the president on pressing social and educational issues affecting the northern part of the country. It was during these discussions that President Mahama disclosed his administration's commitment to working closely with the Catholic Church to establish the Catholic Science and Technology University in Damongo. A visionary initiative that aligns with his broader agenda to expand access to quality tertiary education and strengthen the technical and vocational sector across Ghana. Uh, what makes this development particularly significant is that it not only brings higher education to the Savannah region, but also marks the beginning of a new era of collaboration between government and faith-based institutions in national development. President Mahama revealed that the initial funding for the university would be sourced from a grant promised by the Chinese president, signaling international confidence in Ghana's educational and developmental agenda. This partnership could open doors to further investments, technology exchange, and infrastructure support, positioning the new university as a world-class institution with modern facilities that will prepare young people for the rapidly evolving job market. But the vision goes far beyond just a university. Alongside this ambitious educational project, the president announced plans for a fully equipped regional hospital in Damongo, which will not only cater to the healthcare needs of the region, but also serve as a teaching facility for the university's Faculty of Medical Sciences. This integration of healthcare and education represents a forward thinking approach to regional development, one that ensures sustainability continuous professional training, and the long-term availability of skilled health professionals in Northern Ghana. The president emphasized that the proposed Faculty of Medical Sciences would focus on training doctors, nurses, and allied health professionals, ensuring that future generations of healthcare workers are produced closer to the communities that need them most. For many Ghanaians, especially those from the Northern regions, this announcement rekindles hope that the long-standing educational and healthcare disparities between the North and the South are gradually being addressed. Damongo, historically a quiet administrative town surrounded by rich culture and vast savanna landscapes, is now on course to become a hub of science, innovation, and modern healthcare. The establishment of a university and a teaching hospital will inevitably transform the area attracting students, professionals, and investors, and stimulating the local economy through job creation, accommodation services, transport, and small businesses that thrive around academic institutions. President Mahama's emphasis on strengthening technical and vocational education and training, TVEET, institutions during the meeting also ties directly into this broader vision. He reiterated that Ghana's development must be anchored in skills-based learning and practical education a stance that has become increasingly crucial in a global economy driven by technology and innovation. The Catholic Science and Technology University, as envisioned, will serve as a center for applied sciences, engineering, and innovation, helping to bridge the gap between theoretical education and practical industry needs. It will provide a platform for young people from all parts of Ghana to develop hands-on skills that directly contribute to national productivity. The Catholic Church's involvement further enhances the credibility and potential impact of this initiative. 
The church has a long-standing history in Ghana of establishing and managing educational and health institutions known for their excellence, discipline, and moral grounding. From mission schools that produce some of the nation's most respected leaders to hospitals that have served communities for decades, the Catholic Church has consistently partnered with the state in driving development. Archbishop Philip Name's proposal for the university's establishment in Damongo is therefore not only a spiritual or academic vision, but a continuation of this legacy of nation building through faith-based collaboration. The president's assurance to the delegation that government would support this vision was met with appreciation, especially as he outlined plans to ensure that the university's establishment aligns with national goals for balanced regional development. For years, the northern part of Ghana has struggled with limited access to tertiary education and quality health care. Many young people are forced to migrate southward for studies or medical treatment, creating both financial and social challenges for families. The Catholic Science and Technology University and its associated teaching hospital uh, represent a long-awaited solution to these challenges, providing access, opportunity, and hope right at home. It is also worth noting that this initiative reflects President Mahama's long-held philosophy of equitable development and decentralization of opportunities. His administration has been characterized by a focus on regional inclusivity, ensuring that every part of Ghana, regardless of location, has access to quality infrastructure and essential services. By situating such a significant project in Damongo, the president is not only expanding access to education, but also redefining how development should be distributed across the country. This project could become a model for how governments can effectively use partnerships, both local and international, to deliver lasting impact in underserved regions. Those present at the meeting, including prominent government officials like Haruna Idrisu, the Minister for Education, and Joyce Bawa Mogtari, presidential advisor and special aide to the president, echoed their full support for the initiative. Their presence underscored the seriousness of government's commitment and the collaborative nature of this vision. Rita Na Odoli Sowa, the deputy minister for local government, chieftaincy, and religious affairs, also participated in the discussions, highlighting the importance of involving traditional and local governance structures in implementing projects of such magnitude. Beyond the immediate excitement surrounding the announcement, the long-term implications of these projects are profound. A fully functional science and technology university in Damongo could change the trajectory of education in Northern Ghana forever. It could serve as a research hub addressing regional challenges such as agriculture modernization, environmental sustainability, renewable energy, and public health, all crucial issues for the Savannah region and beyond. The integration of technology and innovation into the curriculum would prepare students not just for jobs, but for leadership in emerging industries like renewable energy, digital technology, and scientific research. Moreover, the proposed teaching hospital will not only improve access to health care, but will also drastically reduce the need for patients to travel long distances for specialist treatment. It will provide opportunities for medical students to gain hands-on experience while simultaneously enhancing the overall quality of healthcare delivery in the region. In time, this facility could become one of the top referral centers in Northern Ghana, attracting patients from neighboring regions and even from across borders. For the people of Damongo, this is a dream coming true, a project that will bring visibility, prestige, and prosperity to their community. Local residents will benefit from the jobs that construction will generate, from artisans and engineers to food vendors and service providers. In the long term, businesses such as hotels, restaurants, printing shops, and transport services will spring up around the new university and hospital, giving rise to an ecosystem of growth and opportunity. The announcement also sends a powerful message about the role of education in national transformation. In an era where technology dictates progress, investing in science and technology education is the surest path towards sustainable development. President Mahama's vision aligns with global trends that recognize universities not just as centers of learning, but as engines of innovation and development. With the right infrastructure, 
partnerships and management, the Catholic Science and Technology University could emerge as a beacon of excellence, not only in Ghana, but across West Africa. As the news spreads, it is expected that stakeholders from across academia, the church, and international partners will express interest in contributing to the success of the project. The combination of government backing, church management, and international support provides a strong foundation for success. It's a project that represents continuity, collaboration, and vision, all key elements that drive national progress. In the broader picture, this announcement reflects a renewed sense of direction in Ghana's development policy under President Mahama. It reinforces the belief that leadership is not only about politics, but about building legacies that impact generations. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.